Hey guys, so I'm a huge fan of spy movies, and if anyone saw the new James Bond movie, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Now, I think the best part of being a spy are the gadgets, but who has the money to buy them? That's why today I'm going to show you how to make some of the most essential spy gadgets using only materials lying around your house. So we're going to learn how to send a secret message, how to see who's following you, how to secretly record someone, and how to set a trap and also escape one. All right, let's get to it. So if for some reason you ever find yourself tied up, this trick is sure to help. All you're gonna need is a bracelet of some kind, a pencil sharpener, and some string. First, unscrew the blade from your pencil sharpener, take this tiny blade, and tie the string through the hole in the middle. Now tuck it into your bracelet, now, if you're ever tied up with some rope or zip ties or something, you can pull on the string and get the blade out, and then cut your way out. Alright, so to send a secret message, just grab a piece of paper, a white crayon, and a marker, or watercolors. Now write your message on the page with the white crayon. Uh, it will look as if nothing is there, but when someone wants to read it, just color over it with the marker, and there it is. Next, here's how to set a trap on a door to catch someone taking your stuff. Obviously, the best solution is to lock the door, but for some that's not an option, so if you want to take a more subtle approach, uh, this can be fixed using some string. To find out if someone's been in your room, tape a piece of string so it hangs down from the door frame slightly over the door like this. Now, when someone opens and closes the door, the string will get stuck in the door and you'll know if someone's been in your room. Another option is to use a party popper. This method is less subtle and is sure to scare your invader. Stick a tack through the side of a party popper and attach it to the side of the door. Now stick another tack on the edge of the door frame and tie a loop in the party popper string. Now when you leave, just loop the party popper string around the tack on the door. Now when someone opens the door, it will set off the party popper and you've caught them. All right, now, of course, spies need to see behind them at all times to avoid a tail. So to do this on the cheap, grab a pair of glasses and an old CD. Now trace and cut out two pieces of the CD that can fit in the corner of your glasses. Remember, the bigger the glasses, the more room you'll have to work with. Now glue on the CD pieces to the edges of the glasses, and you can now see behind you at all times. All right, for this last one, if you're ever in a pinch and you want to see what's going on in the room next to you, your phone can make a great spy camera. Just grab anything to hide your phone in, like some pants, and position the phone so it's barely sticking out of the pocket. Now load up a live streaming app, like YouNow, or even FaceTime or Skype will work, then start streaming. Now hop on a computer in another room, and you can now monitor the room with eyes and ears. Well, if you guys like this video, do not forget to leave a like and share it with your friends. Also, subscribe to my channel for updates on my new videos, and check out my Facebook and Instagram as well. Well, that's all I've got for today, guys. Once again, I hope you liked it, and I will see you in the next video.